guys, I think we're being watched by a pre looming presence of the doctor. Dun, dun, dun. That doctor. Darren, you're not allowed to say the doctor. Well, she's a doc. She's watching us. Darren, you're not allowed to say the doctor unless you're referring to the doctor. Oh, okay. We're at the DSC again, folks. Well, I knew the doc exhibit would be right there, but we're not checking out that. We're checking out the one that is like that way, which I pretty, yeah, I pretty much knew where the exhibits would be for like from the exact start. All right, let's go. No, it's, it's, it's over that way. Yeah. Above and beyond. Um, it looks like it might be good. I have no idea. What is this, a time scale or something? What is this? Oh, it is a time scale, all right. Uh-huh. Oh. This is gonna be a lot to cover. Jetpack. What is this, a real life jetpack? How do you think of that? Really bad. Oh. Lion vehicle. Some chrome. One is an actual flying car. Flying cars are real now, folks. Look at this contraption. Raising it up. Raising it up. And just a spot. And bam! Oh. Oh, could drop that much. Uh-huh. Here are some rockets. Some uh, future rockets. Yeah, these are ones that have never been made yet, obviously. And here, we could like go into like, space elevator here. It's about to go. This doesn't really look convincing elevator, but let's see what happens. Two, one, boom. Welcome to the International Space Elevator. Uh, During this three minute journey, you'll rise from sea level to over 53,000 kilometers. Huh. That's 33,000 miles above here. Now prepare for ascent. Alright. Two. Alright, here one. we go. Elevator drive engage. Your forward viewport features an automatic smart guide that will locate, identify, That's a cool and zoom in Where am I? distant objects and phenomena. See how many things you can spot during your journey. Up above, you can find your location and altitude, as well as outside pressure and temperature. Oh, those are. Anchor station maintenance helicopter? Right. You are now at an altitude flown by commercial jet aircraft. Be glad the windows are closed. It's three times colder out there than in an ice cream freezer. At this altitude, supersonic passenger jet. Need a pressure suit to We're survive. still in this kind of an atmosphere. The only aircraft you might see uh -huh. now are high altitude weather balloons that collect data about the atmosphere. That's just a picture. <laughs> Lazy. Here you may notice bright flashes of light. This is where orbital debris burns up as it re enters Earth's atmosphere. No okay. reason for concern. The space That's... elevator cables can move to avoid large debris. Wait a in just a few moments, you'll be crossing the Carmen line. Up uh, here, so... space begins. Now, as you pass through its orbit, you may catch a glimpse of the International Space Station, a major accomplishment in space horizon. history. Hey. The radiation visualizer shows that we are entering the Van Allen radiation belt. This is where Earth's magnetic field traps uh -huh. charged particles. Uh -huh. Don't worry, the elevator features the latest advances in radiation shielding. Uh, thank you. The GPS satellites orbiting at this altitude form the backbone of modern navigation. You're now at Geosynchronous Earth Orbit, or GEO. You might spot All right, some communication we're almost at the station. Just a to stay few more space kilometers space to go, so and we're, we're almost and we're up there. We should be uh, turning in three, two, one. You are among the very first to get a sneak peek at the newest wonder of the world, the International Space Flight. Wait, what? When it's complete, oh, come on. It's a construction? Come on. That's what a ripoff. Space destinations like Mars. Departing spacecraft will ascend the uh, and then simply release an escape. Let's just get that down. Already traveling 
at a station. Now we go. As the lower observation windows Oh, higher. Prepare for turbo descent. Uh, in covered three, in a line. Two, one. Wait, what's going on? This space elevator was a bit of a rip-off. Here are a couple of drones. Even drones are in this thing. Again, this is of like things that are flying in the air and also in uh, space. Oh, also over there, kids get to design and fly their very own jet. I think yeah, they kind of look the same. Here are the smallest satellites you have ever seen, all the way to just a computer chip floating in space. Kind of lazy if you ask me, but hey, I, I'm pretty sure it's like accomplishes something, I don't know. Trash in space! This is space junk, people. Watch out if it falls onto your head. Well, this exhibit here certainly wasn't a, as much, certainly isn't, ex, in, it's not really a letdown. It's still nice. It's much better, it's, it's certainly much better than what they have going on over there. Certainly better, by far. Wow, this is just sad. They're using, they're like using that place just for parties and stuff now. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. I wonder if this is the mo one of the most successful exhibits that they have because it's been around like forever. That's crazy. Looks like they're changing up the rocket lab. Sure hope it'll be better than what it was last time. It looks like the mission control place is working much better than it did before. It must have fixed the place. And now we leave the DSC once again. This thing really needs, uh, this thing really needs to have better things to promote.